Hi Unity fans, here is finally a new UFPS tutorial. It was also a request from one of my Ruben level patrons. I added a link to his page in the description below and this one is about enemy AI and shooting. And the character that I use as an enemy is this soldier character here. That is from the free asset pack Toon Soldiers. The link can also be found in the description and I implemented a C -sharp script with these options here, you can define the distance from which the soldier starts to attack and to chase the player. And there's also an attack probability, a hit accuracy value and the amount of damage that the enemy is causing when he's shooting at the player. But let's start the game first to see how these enemies will come out in live action. So here you can see they are appearing suddenly and they are causing damage, serious damage. But here I picked up a rifle that could help. But I'm losing here. Okay, so let's see how this is done. First, the animator controller that is added to the soldier. I double click to open it in the animator window. And here you can see we have three parameters two bool parameters and one trigger. Die is a trigger and the other ones are bool parameters for running and shooting. This is the state for the shoot animation for which transitions are defined from the idle and from the run state. The shoot parameter, the bool parameter acts as condition so when this is set to true the shoot animation is played. When it is again set to false, we come back to the idle state. And then we have the run state with the parameter run. So when this is set to true, the run animation is executed. And if it is set to false again, we come back to idle. Okay, and if the die trigger is set in the script, we come to the die animation. Now let's see which components are added to the soldier. The first one is a script called vp underscore identifier that comes with the UFPS framework. And this is needed for the hit effects when the player is hit by the bullets. Then we have a capsule collider and a navmesh agent component that lets the enemy follow the player. But the most important is the soldier script that I added to the enemy just like I did for the zombie, but it contains a bit more AI logic. For example, when I increase the attack probability, the hit accuracy and also the damage points the enemy is causing, this will be extremely dangerous for us. So I start with these settings. No chance. Okay, so let's open the script here in Visual Studio and we will see how this works. The class is called Soldier and it is derived from the VP underscore damage handler that is a UFPS base class. It has variables for the animator and the navmesh agent and a reference to the player. These are the properties that you already saw in the inspector. And for the probability and the accuracy, I use the range attribute to limit the values. And this also brings up a slider in the inspector. Here are the damage points and you can also assign a gun sound that is played when this enemy is shooting. Okay, these are the members. Now let's come to the methods. In the awake method, which you can override, I get the navmesh agent and animator components and assign it to the private members. And in the update method, that is called once per frame, the basic AI for the enemy is implemented. First I get the distance to the player, which I need to decide whether the enemy has to follow him, because if it is lower than the follow distance, the follow flag is set to true. In this case, I create a random float value between 0 and 1, and if this is greater than 1 minus the attack probability, and the distance is lower than the attack distance, I let the enemy attack. Then I set the shoot flag to true. So the logic is, the greater the attack probability value is, the more likely the random value will be high enough to lead to the shoot action. Alright, and if follow is set to true, I set the destination of the navmesh agent to the player's position. This means he's chasing him. And if not, I set the destination to the position of this transform. 
After that, I set the parameters shoot and run for the animator. Ok, the last method that I want to show is the shoot event. This is a function that is called from an animation event. So here we have the shoot animation of the soldier. And now I move down to the event section. And here is the definition of the shoot event. So setting this string here will call a method with the same name when the shoot animation is played. In this method I check if an audio source is defined and then I play the audio clip that is assigned to the gun sound. And after that I again create a new float random value and I use the same logic for the accuracy as for the attack probability. The greater the value for the hit accuracy is, the more likely our player will be hit by the shot. If the player is hit, I send a damage and the amount of damage is defined by the property damage points. Ok, that's it. Here is the die method. That is the same as we used it for the zombie. And I added the script to my Patreon account. You can just download it from there for free. By the way, everything I add to my Patreon will be for free, no matter if you support me or not. But if you like my channel and find my tutorials useful, your help is highly appreciated. So thanks a lot guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you soon here on JNM.